Eve, everybody. We are here on the show floor. We're glad you're with us. I want to introduce Will Fernandez from Spire Global. We're very excited to have you, Will. Oh, Thanks. thank you, Carrie. I know your company and this product is part of the new product showcase, so we want to talk a little bit about it. And Spire Global uses technology from space using these nano satellites, Correct. basically to identify all, all aircraft all the time. That's right. Right? Tell us a little bit about what we're seeing here. So what you're looking at here is a mock-up of our satellites that we have in space currently. This is a 3U size satellite, which is uh, our standard product that we put in space. We have over 80 of them in space currently wow. right now. Cool. And we're launching another 34 in the next seven months. That's incredible. And I understand that this is, it's a mock-up, but it's the same size and weight, right? Same size and weight of the actual satellite in space. Unbelievable. Yeah. All right. That's how big they are. And people have a hard time judging. How, yeah. What's a 3U and 10 by? Uh, that's what it is. It's the size of a wine bottle box you would give right? somebody. I wonder, is there, is there wine inside? No. no just <laughs> kidding. All right, so let's talk about the technology that's inside here. What does that do and how can it help pilots? Okay, so every aircraft starting in 2020 has to have an ADS-B transponder on board. Right. So that the FAA can track them, let's say. Right. And well, this satellite allows you to track all those aircraft everywhere from space. And what we can do compared to a radar system is actually see the aircraft between the mountains that a radar system would never see. And doing it from 500 kilometers in altitude in space. That's amazing. And the reason you can see it down low is because you're doing it from space, exactly. right? Exactly. understand? Yeah, that's exactly it. And, and tell us why this is so important in terms of safety and monitoring where all the aircraft are. Uh, the whole point of ADSB is to determine the stress of aircraft after mm -hmm. Malaysia Airliner. Sure. Right. So what we're trying to do with ADSB now with these little satellites is be able to track all those aircraft and mm -hmm. then determine if those aircraft are in distress or having an air turn back or diverting due to weather. Mm -hmm. One of the other products that we support with this uh, satellite is weather. Right, so this does multiple things, right? Talk this, to us about the weather side of it. Yeah, so this satellite has a GPS RO uh, receiver on board. Okay. Which basically stands for GPS, Global Positioning System, uh -huh. Radial Occultation. And so wow. what, what this little satellite does is actually track the signals from the GPS satellites outweigh that you use for your cell phone and right. geosynchronous orbit. We actually study the way those signals pass through the atmosphere. Wow. Yeah, and that gives us very accurate vertical resolution of weather. So you're adding three dozen satellites in the next seven months. That's correct. Right? So how is that going to change what you're doing? How is that going to change the information that's available? Oh, it's it will enhance what we already do today. Okay. So currently right now, we're picking up about 80 million position reports from aircraft a day. Wow. So with these next 34 aircraft, what we're hoping for that we go to 240 million position reports a day. So that way, we can support countries, mm -hmm. airlines, uh, leasing groups, Air, uh, ANSPs mm -hmm. with aircraft tracking coverage. Incredible. And then with the additional uh, payload of the weather, conflate weather on top of the tracking to see if aircraft are flying into bad weather or maybe they could get better tailwinds. Right. And didn't you tell me you all were looking at the tsunami? That's right. right. We were just looking tell at the that. typhoon that hit Japan. Typhoon, right. And uh, this uh, weather system that we have working from these satellites are so accurate, we're doing probably the best job currently right now of tracking any weather system moving around the world with it. It's amazing yeah, technology. It's and one, it? of, one of the new things that we came out with was clear air turbulence. Wow. So we can actually determine where you'll hit turbulence anywhere in the world at any altitude in the world. At any time? At any time. That's pretty incredible. I was going to ask you what's next on the horizon. That's pretty high tech. Are you working on things even beyond that? Yes. So we're working on uh, Several different missions mm -hmm. for the satellite. Uh -huh. Some I can talk about and some I can't talk you about. You can tell me, but you'd have to kill yeah, me, right? Yeah. I understand. But, okay. Uh, but really, the biggest thing we're working on is enhanced weather prediction gotcha. around the world for aviation. So That's imagine right. knowing winds aloft every thousand feet all the way to 242,000 feet, wow. right? So we know what's going on, so it allows us to do better, uh, clearer turbulence. Sure. It allows us to do better. Uh, estimated time of arrival for aircraft because sure. we know the impacts those aircraft are going through. Right. And we also know when that aircraft is flying through bad weather mm -hmm. so that we can do value assessment of where that aircraft's been flying. Wow. So when you go to resell it, we can give you, hey, this aircraft never uh, operated around salty environments. 
So it increases wow. the value, the asset value of that aircraft. That's the real, actual, tangible result of this technology. Yeah. So interesting. Yeah. All right, if folks want to find out more, how can they do that? Oh, you can go to aviation.spire.com. That sounds great. Well, thanks for being here. Congratulations for being a runner-up of the new product showcase. Oh, We're thank you so much. excited to have you here. Oh, thank you for the time today. Thank you. Absolutely. So for Will Fernandez, I'm Carrie Farinak, and this has been NBAA TV Live. We'll take you back to recorded content now, and we'll be back with another live interview before the end of the day.